Hello friends, in this tutorial we are going to build a sample form which takes our visitors information, it stores it into Netlify forms and then we are going to convert that information into JSON format. We are going to use nocodeapi.com to convert the form in Netlify to JSON and then we can use this information for any purposes. So to do that uh, I am using currently a bootstrap build ready-made template which I just did a little tweaking like I converted the password to comment, attach the screenshot input and then I uploaded it into Netlify app and to make sure that it works and it submits the forms values to Netlify I added a tag called as action post and data Netlify true to the form tag and in the end to make sure that reCAPTCHA appears and no robots are able to spam my uh, collection for that I have added data Netlify reCAPTCHA. So after I have attached these two tags uh, these two attributes to my form. I pushed this repo to github and from github I deployed this website into Netlify and now when I submit any information this is very important information i attach some screenshot then go to i have read terms and conditions verify that i am not a robot and then submit your form it is going to show us that this form has been submitted and if i go to netlify dashboard i will see this form listed in all the fields so this is very important information now that i have this information in netlify i am going to convert it into json format over a single endpoint for that i am going to use nocodeapi.com log in to your nocodeapi's dashboard from your dashboard go to marketplace here select netlify click on use this api make netlify api give your api a name demo for my specific case and to get your access token go to this link go down and click new access token give the name of your token temporary token click generate token copy your token and paste it over here and then click create our endpoint has been created successfully now we are going to use this endpoint and see what it does to get all the websites which i am having currently in netlify i can run this endpoint and it is going to show me all the website i have deployed over netlify currently i have five websites and the one which we are working on is the first one and to get the forms which are there inside this website i will need its id in the second endpoint attach the id over here and run this endpoint and it is going to show me all the forms which i have currently in this website currently i have only one form its name is form one and to get the fields which i which people have submitted i will need the forms id in the third endpoint dash the form id run this endpoint and it is going to give us all the input or all the submissions which people have made to my form listed in json format and now i can use this information wherever i want and if i have more than one form and i want all that information i can do that all also by attaching the website ID to the last endpoint and it is going to show me all the forms which are there under this so copy this uh, websites ID attach it to site submission run this endpoint and it is going to show me all the submissions on all the forms in JSON currently I have only one form that's why I needed this form submission so you can see that there were 13 input however I can see there are only seven or eight inputs over here so the surplus five or the ones which have been marked spam by Netlify but in my endpoint I am getting those fields also. So this is how you can build your Netlify integration with no code API to get your information uh, on your Netlify account converted into JSON so that you can show it somewhere. Uh, this is all from my side if you have any queries you can click on the support button and we will get back to you. Thank you for watching goodbye.